Ah, about half the people in the room right now are saying, oh no, Richard's gonna do another rant about his fires. <laughs> and that is indeed a fire structure I built last August, but tonight I wanna talk about structure, not fire. I wanna talk about the chaos of the media ecosystem and how we might be able to create a trust framework to enable quality, fact-based journalism to rise above that chaotic ecosystem and get the respect it deserves. And I wanna give a nod to my collaborator, Sally Lehrman, who's been working with me on this. Consumer trust in media has been declining for a long time. Poll after poll tells us this. This is not a new phenomenon. It's been happening for over 40 years. The internet didn't trigger the decline, but it doesn't seem likely that the internet is gonna automatically reverse that decline. The media ecosystem of 1975 was a comparatively meager one. Clean sets of brands easily understood. Newspapers, magazines, television programs all introduced to us by our family, our friends, our colleagues, our classmates. It pales in comparison to today's ecosystem where those same brands are struggling to compete on equal footing with a cacophonous opinion sphere and a near malevolent corporate advocacy. Can we provide better signals into that ecosystem to help people decide whether a source is credible or not? Because in that ecosystem, motivations vary, conflicts of interest are often unclear. The old trust model of trust us because we're us does not work. Can we provide better cues for people to separate fact from fiction, wisdom from spin? Or are we simply casting our fates to the ecosystem itself, hoping that our quality content will magically surface to the top? Can we provide better signals into this ecosystem, points of information to help people make their own decisions, information to help search engines understand and create better results, to help algorithmic recommendation systems that are increasingly molding our media lives? Can we be more clear about what we're about, our passions? Can we be more clear about our policies, our ethics, the rules that guide our craft? Can we, as we go forward, be more clear and create a clear framework for the great expertise that sits in our organizations and in our individuals? that provides a clearer framework to see the full body of the reporter's work so I can understand why they know what they know. When I hear of a reporter tell me about the deep vetting of their piece before it gets published, I ask, why don't I know that? Why am I not aware of the peer reviews, in a sense, the peer endorsements that back that reporter's work? In today's ecosystem, an enterprising story will be quickly followed by an explosive cloud of derivative work. Would it not be useful for me to know that this reporter was on the ground in Pakistan? Might we make better use of structured citations, learn from academia, learn from Wikipedia, so that we can actually unveil the intellectual underpinnings of the reporter's work and use those citations to build deepening foundations of intellectual support, to create an enduring fabric of cited knowledge across ranges of topics, beats, and events. We're not suggesting a panacea. We're not demanding a trust framework be used for every piece or any piece. We're simply suggesting that quality news organizations have signals behind their firewalls that could find great value if they were put into the ecosystem itself. What we're suggesting is that quality news brands be loud and proud about how they do their work, whether they're the New York Times or BuzzFeed or ProPublica or La Stampa. Every news product, and I say the word news product, succeeds or fails based on the size and loyalty of its audience. And in today's world, we want that audience to help spread the word, to in a sense, leverage those peer endorsements behind the reporter into our own endorsements to our circle of friends. Can trust drive revenue? Can it grow subscribers? Can the programmatic ad systems leverage these signals to understand the regard with which a brand is held? There is very good evidence that these brands will spend that money for their alignment of that message to those audiences. Can we focus on not just expanding the depth and breadth of common knowledge, but to begin to create signals and pathways and mechanisms to find the wisdom in that maelstrom of expression? Yes, the fire was a long and beautiful one. It provided great clarity and light to see the true integrity of the structure, even as it was fully engulfed in a chaotic, indeed combustible, ecosystem. 
Thank you.